dear students in this module we are going to discuss the life course of social movements social movements typically go through various stages in their life course each presenting a unique challenge and opportunity so understanding these stages can help us to analyze the movement's development strategies and their potential impact on the societies so the emergence stage is basically the birth of a social movement so this is also called the first stage of social movement so during this phase public awareness of an issue begins to increase and individuals start to coalesce around the shared concerns initial organizing efforts occur although movements may lack the formal structure or strategy so when we talk about the emerging of a movement there is a raising concern about a social issue or there is a sense of inequality or injustice about a certain social issue so people begin to talk about it and they begin to raise their concerns about it and then we have the coalescence stage which involves the formalization of the movement at this stage the leadership structures are established so it's the second stage where people begin to have a shared consensus that we need to do something about this situation so they begin to have more frequent interaction about this issue and that is the stage where a certain kind of leadership to lead that movement emerge and different strategies are developed and concerted actions are also initiated at this stage so this stage is marked by the high levels of public activity including protests rallies and public campaigns so an example can be the emergence and coalescence of the environmental justice movement in united states in 1980s initial awareness around the racial and economic disparities in the exposure to environmental hazards evolved into a structured movement with the active protests and demands for the policy change then we have the bureaucratization stage that signifies the institutionalization of the movement the movement might develop a more hierarchical structure secure stable funding and employ the professional staff so it's a stage where an informal organization is converted into a bureaucratic formal organization so this stage enhances the movement's capacity but can also risk dampening its revolutionary spirit or alienating grassroots supporters so as soon as an informal movement turned into a formal organization many of the members become skeptical about the agenda of the movement and finally we have the decline stage that can occur for various reasons including either successful accomplishment or achieving the objective of the organization or we can see that the institutional players repression by the authorities or internal collapse due to the resource shortage or the leadership crisis so the decline of the anti nuclear movement in many western countries following the policy changes and shift in the public concerns towards the other environmental issues like climate change exemplifies this stage understanding these stages provides a valuable insights into the dynamism of the social movements their internal and external challenges and their evolutionary trajectories to which they go for the success or for the failure an example in the context of pakistan we can see uh, the lawyers movement for the restoration of judges which showcases these different stages of any movement for example the initial awareness and outreach were 
this movement emerged the active protests and organizing efforts where the second stage emerged like the coalescent stage and then the establishment of the organized forums through which the pakistan bar council uh, played its active role for the success of this movement like which we can say is the bureaucratization of that movement and eventually the decline which was the post restoration of the judges so once that objective was achieved this movement declined by itself and it marks the life course of this movement